it's a huge, huge feeling because it's a free ride in the air. I'm not looking for adrenaline. I'm just looking for a nice line and high level technique. When you are at 4,000 meters or more, you are in fresh snow, you are in the rocks, you are very, very small, you are playing with the nature. It's just a contact with a very, very impressive place. I am Anna Longobardi. I live in the downtown of Chamonix and I practice speed flying and speed riding. Speed running, it's a ski with a parachute. A three dimension sport because uh, it's not only ski, it's um, flying in the air, making spin barrel, you can fly on the back, you can make spin, so it's totally a free ride in the air. The first skill you need is to be good in free ride ski. If you are not good in ski, you are busy with your legs, with your chest, with your arm. First of all, you have to be very, very good in ski. And after, you have to manage well your canopy. One day I was skiing and I saw a guy, maybe one of the first guys uh, practicing the speed flying 10 years ago. And I saw him uh, and jump a cliff and uh, he disappeared under the cliff. And I saw that and I said, wow, that's amazing. Uh, the first time I practiced speed flying, it was mixed between uh, a very, very nice feeling and thriller, a very big thriller. In fact, uh, I had not flew before in the air except in plane, small plane or a, or a jet plane. And uh, the feeling was, uh, was so, so intense. We can make a, a nice landing here with a lot of speed. <laughs> then. To practice uh, speed riding, I need some equipment, uh, ski, but free ride ski. I need a harness and I need a canopy, parachute or speed flying wing, a helmet for sure and a camera and an iPod too. Uh, most important conditions are a steep path with very, very good snow, maybe 30 centimeters fresh snow and a um, very, very sunny place and a good music too. Speed running requests you to practice a lot, a lot, a lot. Because you ski, you are, you are in the air, so there are some downbursts, uh, some wind changing, so you have to practice a lot, a lot. A Chamonix is uh, maybe one of the best places to practice speed riding. Some lift uh, pretty open all the year and there is no face of the Guiju Midi. A nice, nice place. Our typical training day is I wake up maybe at eight o'clock, some stretching, then breakfast, and after uh, I start to ride from nine or 10 to four or five o'clock. Then after this, I go to the swimming pool to relax my body. I have a big dream, for sure. Uh, there is a trick in paragliding. I don't do paragliding, but there is a trick. All people say in the world that it's not possible in uh, speed flying. It's a tumbling. It's like a flip, a front flip. I tried two years ago and I didn't really succeed, but I was close. My canopy is not made to do that, but I'd like to do it. So maybe if my canopy is not able to do that, I can change my piloting. I really, really like to do um, the front flip in a mini wing. I have to be honest, each run I'm scared, but I want to be scared. If I'm not scared, I wake up my mind and say, I oh, know, uh, be scared, please. 
because that gave me uh, some um, information uh, that opened my mind, my reactivity, my eyes, my blood pressure, everything. For instance, if I take a line, I'm gonna do two or three times. The first one I'm afraid because I don't have tested and the second one is better. So the second one, I can go harder or steeper or faster. 